You guys ever skateboard? Man, it takes a lot of practice, huh? Can you do tricks? I can. Pretty cool, huh? I'm just an expert skateboard. Stop that! Pretty cool, huh? So guys, I'm sure you're all familiar with games such as Flappy Bird, where the character seems like it's moving, but it stays in the same exact position on the screen because the things around it are moving. So relative to the things around it, it looks like it's moving. Well, we're going to learn how to do that in Scratch. Okay, guys, so this is what we're about to create. I click the flag. The bat is flying. But notice he's not moving. His XY position is exactly the same. What's moving is everything around him, giving us the illusion of flying. So let's make it happen. All right, all you peeps in Scratch Town, here we go. I hit create, opened up a new project. I'm gonna name it Flappy Bat. Because we're gonna create an animation similar to that of Flappy Bird. Now we're not going to need the cat, so I'm going to hover over, right click, and hit delete. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the bat. So I'm going to go into my new sprite, so I'm going to hit Pico. It's in the library. Third row, alphabetical order, the first bat. And I'm going to hit, click that and hit OK. If you look at costumes, you see the bat has two costumes, which is great, so let's make them fly. I'm going to use the flag click event. I want this to happen the whole program. So I'm going to go into controls and get my forever loop. And I just want it to keep switching costumes. So it's going to look different every time he switches a costume. So we go into looks. I get next costume. Now if I hit the flag, you can see he's flying too quickly. So we need to control that. So on the control, I'm going to use my weight. Now wait one second is way too long, so I'm going to use a fraction of a second, or a decimal point, one. And that should be about right. Good. Okay, the last thing we're gonna do before we move on is we're gonna make sure that the bat is always in the forefront. We want it to always be in the front of our screen. So on the looks, there's a block towards the bottom that says go to front. So let's put that under the flag click. So now when we click the green flag, our bat will come to the forefront. We're not going to use the stage. We're going to create sprites to function as the backdrop. So we're going to draw these sprites. So the second icon on the new sprite is a paintbrush. I click it. It's the night sky, so I want the background to be black. So I use my fill can. Make sure the black is selected. And I'm going to fill the whole background black. The next thing I'm going to do is add some stars. So I'm going to use the ellipse tool. I'm going to select a lighter color. I'm going to hold down my shift so that they're perfect circles. I'm going to add them randomly. And... All right, so now you have something that looks like a night sky. So now let's program this script. So what we're going to do is we're not actually going to use the sprite itself. We're going to use clones of the sprite. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a clone. And I'm going to take five seconds to get this clone to move across the screen. So that means every five seconds it's going to move across the screen. I need to create another one. So we're going to start with the flag click. And since we're not using the sprite itself, we're using a clone, which is going to hide the sprite. And we want this to happen the whole time the program's running. So under control, I'm going to get a forever loop. And then towards the bottom of control, I'm going to create a clone of myself. And like I said a second ago, we want this to happen every five seconds. So I'm going to get the wait command. I'm not going to wait one second. I'm going to wait five seconds. So what do we want to happen when a clone is created? Well, the first thing is I want the clone to start all the way to the right of the screen. I don't even want to see it. Now, if you recall, 
240x is the rightmost position on our screen. And I want it to be off the screen. So I'm going to set the x to 480. In my control, I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom when I start as a clone. So like I said, the first thing I want to do is move it all the way off the screen. So on the motion, I'm going to get my go to block. My Y is going to always be zero, but my X is going to be 480. Now, once I position it all the way to the right, I want to be able to see it. So I'm going to go to my looks and show it. And then we're going to take five seconds to have it cruise across the screen. So to do that, we're going to use the glide command. So go on the motion, grab the glide command. I'm going to take five seconds for glide for five seconds. We're going to go to negative 480. So it's going to go all the way off the screen on the other side. And we're going to stay at zero Y. And then when we get to the other side, we're going to hide. So now let's check that out. So I click the green flag. And so it looks good half the time. So now we got to deal with the other half. So I'm going to stop my program. To get it to look good the other half of the time, I'm going to use a second sprite and do exactly the same thing. So I'm going to go to my first sprite that we created and I'm going to right click and duplicate. Now if I click the flag, it doesn't look like anything's changed. And that's because the two sprites are right on top of each other doing exactly the same thing. So we need to now stagger them. So I'm going to stop my program. I'm going to go to the second sprite we created. And rather than create a clone immediately I'm going to wait for half of the interval or half of the five seconds before I create the second backdrop so I'm going to go to my wait command on the control so I want to wait for half of the five which is two and a half seconds now I'm using two and a half and five, but if you use three and six, it will look as if it's moving slower. If you used four and two, it would look as it's moving faster. And that's all up to you depending on your program. So now if I click the flag, there's the one backdrop and there's the second backdrop and it's continuous one after the other. Now obviously there's an issue at the very beginning, the white. So I'm gonna go into my stage and I'm going to go to backdrops and all I'm going to do is make this backdrop instead of a white color I'm going to make it black so it's less obvious that there's an issue now when I hit the flag we got the black and our bat is flying we now have a flappy bat alright guys there we go pretty simple we got our bat flying through the air looking good so as always, like what you like, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you next time.